Hello and welcome to Favork. My name is Brian Watrous. In this video I am going to illustrate how to customize the icons within your vCenter orchestrator workflows. As you can see I've been slaving away at a workflow here. Unfortunately even though I put all of my hard work into it this looks like just any old generic workflow. It's using all the default schema element icons that are provided with vCenter orchestrator. Well, if I'm going to put in all that hard work on my own, I'd rather this workflow look like mine. So what I'm going to do, as you see illustrated here, is I'm going to change my workflow so that instead of using just the default schema element icons, it's going to use my own. Uh, this way you can brand your workflow so that when somebody embeds your workflow into their workflow, you will have your icon instead of just some generic one. The way you actually set a custom workflow icon looks a little bit lengthy here in terms of these seven steps, but actually performing the steps is pretty quick. The first step is you're going to go into the VCO client and enter design mode. The second step is the step that uh, I initially didn't know about and uh, threw me off, but it turns out step two is actually quite simple. In the VCO client, you're going to go to the resources tab and you're going to import your icons. Then in step three, we'll edit the workflow. Step 4, we'll click the General tab. Step 5, we'll click on the Workflow icon button, which, by the way, looks like this. Specifically, it's the square box with the slash through it. Step 6, um, after we've clicked the Workflow icon button, Step 6 uh, will involve a window that pops up, and in that window, we'll get a list of our various icons. And then in Step 7, any time we embed this workflow into another workflow, our workflow and that other workflow will show up with our customized icon. A couple of notes before we actually demonstrate how to do this. When you work with custom icons, uh, please be aware that it works with GIFs, JPEGs, and PNGs. It does not, at least in my experience, does not work with bitmaps or TIFFs. And in fact, uh, when I forget and I attempt to use bitmaps and TIFFs, it tends to make the VCO client unhappy. I'm going to demonstrate how to perform these steps in a few moments, but in the meantime, if you care to, you can download a package which contains the, the uh, work that flow that you see in the example here by going to the URL that you see listed on the screen. Now that we know the steps that are involved, let's actually change an icon from one of our existing workflows. As we said a few moments ago, the first step is to switch from Run View to Design View. And here in Design View, I'm on the Workflows tab, and as you can see, I have a workflow called Hello World. That's the workflow whose custom icon I want to set up. Right now it's using the default workflow icon, but we want to use a special icon for it. As we said a few moments ago, the second step is to go to the Resources tab. And it's at this Resources tab where we're going to import the graphics files that are the various icons. As you can see here, if I expand our existing resources, there's already a folder called Library. That's where VMware puts their resource files. What I'm going to do, since I don't want to mix up my stuff with the VMware stuff there, I'm going to right-click the top-level object here and choose New Folder to create my own folder. So I'll call mine Vavork. Then what I'm going to do is right-click that folder and import the one or more graphics files by choosing Import Resources. As you can see here, I have five different graphics files. One's a BMP the next one's a GIF, the third one's a JPEG, then a PNG, and a TIFF. I'm going to go ahead and import all of those. You already know from our previous discussion that two of those aren't going to work, but I'm purposely importing the, all five so that you can see what the two that don't work actually end up looking like. So as you can see, I've now created a resource called Vivork that has these five different graphics files. So the next step is going to be to edit the workflow. So we'll go back to the Workflows tab and to the workflow itself and we're going to choose to edit the workflow. Now if we're not already there we're going to go to the General tab and on the General tab this is the 
uh, button that we need to click to set the icon. So we'll click this button and the usual list wizard pops up and if you've seen the list wizard before you know that we need to type at least something e even if it's just the carriage return we, we need to type something uh, to match against. I'm going to type orc and sure enough here's the five graphics files that I imported. And you'll notice that three of them uh, are correctly displaying the the uh, icon. On the other hand, these other two, the bitmap and the tiff, don't show up, which is a good reminder that bitmaps and tiffs don't work for what we're trying to do. So I, again, I imported these to illustrate this point. Uh, you shouldn't even bother to import BMPs and tiffs for the purposes of icon files. They may be useful for other things, but not not for icon files for custom workflow icons. So I'm going to select, I could pick any of these three, I'll go ahead and choose the PNG, Portable Network Graphics File. I'll click Select, and as you can see, the button now turns into a tiny thumbnail to remind me what the workflow icon looks like. If I save the workflow, if I save the workflow, here too we see the little tiny icon for the workflow. But the point of setting up this workflow icon isn't so much to change these two places, but rather now when I create a new workflow, uh, I'll call this one my outer workflow. When we create another workflow, such as this new one I'm creating, and we go to the schema, and we do our usual thing, which is to drag a workflow element onto the desktop. Uh, notice right now that the icon is just a plain standard icon. And if we pick any other workflow other than the one we just customized, that's the icon that we're going to get. But notice when I add in this workflow element and I say search for my hello world workflow, I can already see here that that workflow has a special icon. If I select this workflow and embed it, instead of having a standard icon for this workflow schema element, I now have a customized element. And again, that's the, that's the real point of, of setting custom icons in your uh, workflows. Again, notice it didn't change the appearance uh, drastically of the, didn't drastically change the appearance of the workflow that we modified, but any workflow that we create that embeds the Hello work World workflow is going to have a customized icon. So there you have it. That's all that's involved. Again, if anything, I think for myself, the trickiest part was learning to set up the resources um, in the resources tab. But once you got that, the rest of it's pretty easy. If you have any uh, questions or comments about this, please leave a comment down below. Thanks, guys.